Mr. Andrew Murphy, who is the chair of Titanic 100 Society, is going to introduce our next guest and make a few remarks. Mr. Murphy. Thank you. Your Honor, Lieutenant Governor Grant, Ministers McKay, Wilson, and Paris, Deputy Minister Carson, Councillor Sloan, there he is, gathered clergy. In Halifax, now, now known for centuries as the Warden of the North, is no stranger to ocean tragedies. In fact, we have had more than our fair share over the centuries. From the wreck of the HMS Tribune in 1797 to the loss of the ship's city of Boston in 1870, as well as the sinking of the SS Atlantic, another White Star liner which sat off the entrance of Halifax Harbor on April 1st, 1873, claiming 562 souls. This was the largest marine disaster in the North Atlantic prior to the sinking of the Titanic. But no ocean tragedy gripped the world or this city more than the events that transpired off the Grand Banks of Newfoundland and Labrador on this day 100 years ago when the Titanic hit an iceberg and sank to the bottom of the Atlantic. Today we gather to remember not just this legendary ship, but the lives she took with her. We also remember our hometown heroes, the volunteers who put their own lives at risk to bring our victims ashore, and the people who responded then as we do now, as we do now with dignity and respect. It makes me proud to be from Halifax, to see the outpouring of support and respect we see in the numbers here today, as well as last night at the parade square. It is this outpouring, outpouring of support and compassion that has come to characterize our people as we are witnessing now and as we witnessed during the Swiss air tragedy and when the airplanes of 9-11 landed here in Halifax in such great numbers. On behalf of the Titanic 100 Society, I would like to thank you for coming here today as we commemorate a sad chapter in our history, but one that also shone bright with wonderful examples of human kindness and compassion. 